next on Dress to Kill. Your challenge today is to style for an outdoor music festival. Um, she needs a bigger pair. No, I don't like it, I don't like it. You yeah. can open up and party on. No, You're ready to anywhere. party. Six of the country's top stylists will face each other in a head-to-head -head match for points. Then, a single elimination tournament will decide the winner. This is Dress to Kill. Hello, stylists. Welcome back to the workroom. Thank you. Biagi, in your last challenge, you put together a look for a job interview and handled those heels quite well. Thanks. Don, last time we saw you, you successfully mixed unique pieces and created a great outfit for a pool party. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys can show us today. Because as you know, what's at stake is the once in a lifetime opportunity to be a featured stylist in Glamour Magazine. I think the opportunity to style a shoot for Glamour would be really amazing. I mean, it's definitely a magazine that I would love to work with. Your challenge today is to style Lucretia and Magdalena for an outdoor music festival. <laughs> Stylist, you will have 10 minutes to complete your look. And of course, your favorite thing. <laughs> oh, nice. We'd like to see you incorporate these jeans in your look today. You can use them however you want. Ah, oh, festival white jeans, I mean, it's dirty, you're sweating, it's hot, you know, they just, they're a mess in two seconds. I instantly think shorts. Good luck to you both. Your time starts now. When I was a little kid, like five years old, I told my mom I was gonna be in fashion. It, it never went away, and it's, it's always been the only option for me. Styling just seems to really have spoken to all of my needs as an artist and also as a business person. I, I have both sides of that in this business, and I like it the best. Temperature might change as the day goes along, so we wanna be prepared to layer and unlayer. It's a festival, I mean, there's color. It's like all about color and everything, so. I think I'm gonna try to go that way. The traditional music festival look is more bohemian and flowy and like free, you know, kind of like free-spirited. Um, she needs a bigger pair. Just tell me if I'm close to you. Awesome. And then just tuck in just the front. Okay. So can I have her hair like in a messy little bun on the bottom of her neck here? Hi, Biagi. Hi. So you cut the shorts. I cut the shorts because it's going to be warm during the day. There's something odd going on with the shorts, though. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah. We haven't styled that part okay. yet. Okay. And do you feel like she's going to be comfortable in this throughout the whole day? I, she just told me she feels I'll like a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's underneath? She's is got that a little, little bikini top oh, going on underneath. Cute. So in okay. case it gets really hot, she yeah. can open up and party on. Okay, great. All right. Moving on. We are playing right now with, I'm thinking about shoes and I'm still thinking about something different than that top. I okay. wanted something a little bit more colorful here, but I right. haven't really found the right thing yet. Right. Well, just think about comfort. Think if she's gonna, going to be comfortable in those all day. All right, I'll let you get to all right. it. Sounds good. Okay. All right. No, I don't like it, I don't like it. All right, ladies, time is officially up. We will see you there in a little while. You're ready to party. Hello, stylists. You remember our judges, Brooke Danielson, Associate Accessories Editor for Glamour Magazine, and Christina Perez, Style Development Editor for Glamour Magazine. Biagi, tell us a little bit about your look. When we have the white jeans, I thought, okay, she's gonna get dirty no matter what we do, so let's just embrace it. I went with the gold tone sneaker because even if there's mud on them or if she's walking and gets them a little bit dirty, it'll still look great no matter what. I wanted to give her a couple of layers because it's gonna be warm during the day when she gets there and it might get a little bit chilly towards the evening time, so she's got a bikini top on. If she gets really hot, she can open up a little bit. And then towards the evening time, if she gets cold, she can throw on her leather vest. 
I wanted to make sure she wore a crossbody because personally, I don't want to carry a purse around. I like it to be crossbody. Sunglasses to protect her from the sun during the day. A nice hat to also protect her from the heat during the day and the sun, and she's ready to go. Yaji, where is she putting her leather vest during the day? She can wear the vest during the day or she can carry it, but I personally would wear it. What made you decide that hat? She loved this hat. I had tried to take it off of her and she didn't want to, so if my model's happy, I'm happy. And what made you choose those sunglasses? We tried on a few and I asked my model which one she liked better on her face and she said she loved these and she liked the other ones, so we went with the ones that she loved. I understand your model likes it. She liked the hat, she liked the glasses, but you're the stylist. I also like it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just as long as yeah. you can stand by I it. wouldn't give her anything to try on that I didn't like. Don, tell us about your look. I started with the white denim jeans and just cuffed them in the side to give her a little bit more breathing room. I saw this really pretty top with the lace on it and the blue and white tied in nice with the white shorts. I did these little shoes, I like them. I actually found that they were perforated, so I love that on the top of them. And then I finished with the hat, because the hat tied in really nice with the top. I like the colors, the way they blended. And the tortoise glasses as well. You talk a lot about matching things and kind of being matchy-matchy. Do you think that this is too matchy-matchy? I don't always want to match-match too much, and I think that's why I brought the blue in. Do you feel that a suede bag is a little too heavy for a music festival? This one was really lightweight. I mean, even when you feel it, it's like a thinner kind of suede. And now they're doing like, the, even the shoes, they're doing them for like summer looks and in summer colors. So that's why I decided to, to go with that. What does that top look like under the burgundy? Is it it's just short a little sleeve? tank top. It's oh, it's a tank little top. top. Like silk top. Stylus, you may return to the workroom. Thank you. Okay, so what did we think of Dawn's look? Dawn's look screamed music festival to me. It was kind of this hippy dippy look, although she did have a lot of ox blood in it and burgundy from you know the hat to the blouse, and that was a glamour trend last year, not this year. So it was it was a bit too much for me. Yeah, I think all of that burgundy looked really drab. It felt very fall and sort of sad. And when I think music festival, I think bright, happy, having fun flower children in the grass, you know, and this look was very old looking to me. Right, and to work around the, right, the white shorts, she could have done more with it. It could have been way cooler, popped more. Mm -hmm. It's just boring. Mm -hmm. I did like how Dawn had that little tank top. I thought that was a really great addition. When you're at the music festival, you want to be comfortable and you want layers so that you can take them on and off and as it gets cooler in the night you can change, but you still want to have something sort of light. And I think she did accomplish that. Right, and at least she could have tied that maroon sweater around her waist if she wanted to, whereas with the leather vest, what are you going to do with that, you know? Right. So then Biagi's look. I was digging the color palette. I liked it. It popped, the, you know, the model looked cool. Uh, the leather vest, too heavy. Uh, you would sweat bullets in that thing, and like, no thanks. Who wants to sweat at the music festival any more than they are? I thought it was really forward. I thought the look was really current. I didn't love the hat. The hat was a little bit trashy to me. With the leopard sunglasses, it didn't go with the rest for me. And like you guys said, it was a little bothersome that the model kind of chose them. That really bothered me. I thought, who's the stylist here? Maybe the model should be the one competing and Biagi should be the model. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think when you're styling someone personally, you do have to take into account what they feel comfortable in and what their personal style is. But for this type of challenge, she's trying to show us what her personal style is. And I don't think that was the right move to make on her part. Right. I did like her shoes though. I thought Biagi picked a really great pair of shoes. I liked that she took into consideration that there might be mud or you might get a little dirty. And I think she picked a great pair of shoes that looked comfortable and cute at the same time. For sure. Right, you could dance all night long in them. The crossbody bag I think was really cute, very trend driven at the moment. We're seeing a lot of futuristic elements and collections and a lot of metallic accessories. So I was really into the bag but it would have been so much better should the hat and the sunglasses go. 
And she could have still had some sunglasses, maybe right. a different pair. Just tone down tone a little down. bit. Yeah, let the bag speak for itself. Yeah, I love the pop of the bag, and I also love the pop of the bikini, because I think that's fun. You know, to have those layers is something important. Mm -hmm. It looks like we have our decision. Let's call the stylist back. Biagi, there are a few things that worry us about this look. The number one thing is that leather jacket. It's super cute, but it looks so uncomfortable for a music festival. And because it's a vest, there's no way you could tie it around your waist. I feel like you would be kind of struggling with it the whole time, especially if it was hot out. Biagi, I liked your color palette. I thought it was fun, kind of this rocker vibe, very fresh. You pushed the envelope a bit. The shoes were an appropriate choice, so good job. The crossbody bag is very trend-driven, kind of that futuristic vibe. I like that. The look is cool. It's fresh and fun. Thank you. Dawn, I'm not feeling this. This burgundy color was a trend last year. Not so much anymore. It's a bit too monochromatic. It's not fun, you didn't push the envelope in my opinion. And it was a little too safe, kind of more of an old school music festival vibe. But on that note, that is exactly what I sort of like about this look, is that I feel like you really captured that 70s sort of retro feeling that some of us might associate with the classic music festivals. I think the bag is really great, and I really like those tasseled necklaces. I think that gives it a really cool sort of 70s Stevie Nicks vibe, and I'm a huge fan of Stevie Nicks. So I think it works. Thank you. Biagi. You dressed to kill. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you both. We think the look was really forward. We actually love the stylistic aspects of it. And we think that all together, this is something we would each wear to a music festival. Thank you. I'm super excited to have just won my second challenge. I'm really glad that the judges see my point of view and like it. And I can't wait to show them some more and hope that they like both. Dawn, I'm so sorry. We feel that this was a little bit too safe. We know that you like this monochromatic look, but I think for a music festival, you could have amped it up a little bit. I actually don't do the traditional festival look when I go, but I was kind of thinking of the judges, and I remember a few times that I incorporated myself. They were like, stay away from that. Try to you know think about what you're going to. So I tried to do that and kept it a little bit more traditional, which I don't know if that worked for me or not, because I did more of the traditional festival look. Thank you, stylist. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Next time on Dress to Kill. Your challenge today is to style for a day at the office. Uh, <laughs> no, <fall> no. <laughs> Trying to avoid these bells like the plague. High heel, something appropriate for the office. Oh, it just broke. Annoying. To see who dresses to kill next, subscribe to the Glamour channel. Comment in the comments below and follow us on Twitter at GlamourMag.